How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another set of tutorials. These Torrid tutorials, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, is going to be over main stage. And also, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, it is going to be over the basics. And by basics, I want to talk about the different modes um, in main stage. So let's start from left and go to right, because that seems logical. Yep. So we are looking at the layout view and basically what I want to ingrain in your heads is that layout view is for creating what your controller actually is in front of you. So what your controller is in front of you, you want to put that onto the layout uh, that you want to see, I guess, when you are performing. So to do that, it's very simple down here in the screen controls palette we can drag and drop buttons, drag and drop meters, drag and drop all kinds of random shit. It's beautiful. And what you can see here is I created this a long ass time ago. This was a replica of my Axiom 49 keyboard, which is not here in front of me, it is at home. Sour about that. This would be a lot easier if I just had that in front of me and I was showing you. But I do not, and so I'm just going to have to play this without a keyboard which will work which will work and so what you can also do inside of this mode is um, if you you know you have all your faders set up you have it all put together it looks all nice hooray what you can do is select um, different faders different I don't know whatever buttons and uh, there you need to link them to the actual button or fader on your controller so to do that it's pretty easy um, you select it press learn and then all you have to do is uh, move the lever or push the button whatever it is and main stage will automatically map that to the specific um, fader or button that you had selected at the time it's kinda cool so once you have everything learned make sure to save it because it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and then we can start going to the edit mode and in the edit mode what it is basically doing is you're creating the different patches that you want to be using in your different um, in, in your set basically okay so in this one I have some pianos a keyboard um, a piano with some strings kinda interesting and some strings with some voices also kinda interesting and then I have different synths and I label them different things uh, this synth was used in a certain song, um, so you can definitely go have some fun with it. You can add whatever you want, and, you know, do your thing. Do your thing. So, um, to create a new one, you press the plus button, just like in Logic Pro 9, and you get an untitled patch. And then you can, you know, here's your patch library, you can, you know, get, I don't know, a pop piano. Ba -ba -ba boom and it's over here already okay so that's all great and everything but you have all these faders here um, set up and linked to nothing how do you do that and so what you can do is select these different faders and do whatever you want and I'm gonna press map parameter there's attributes mapping and then unmapped and so I'm going to press this map parameter button and I'm going to select volume of the pop piano for this. Hooray. And then for this button I'll do um, mute. So to mute it I'll just press that button. Easy enough. And say you know this one you want to edit the glide. So you press glide there you go and it should have yep there you go it should have added um, glide to this fader so you can actively change the glide with that certain fader so fun stuff and you can get crazier and crazier with this um, you can actually add effects plugins and then you can uh, affect those um, affect the instrument with those plugins say you want a low pass filter on something um, I believe I have it on some of these yeah I have a high pass and a low pass on this and then I can just um, edit the cutoff frequency with my fader easy enough and you can get a very nice um, effect 
over a certain period of time. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Okay? And then basically your perform is exactly what it says. It's for when you are performing live or practicing with your band or whatever. Full screen is the exact same thing, only bigger. Because what's better than a perform that's small? It's a perform that's full screen. Yeah. So I'm going to escape out of that ho. And I went through all four modes. I just wanted to explain to you the different modes and basically get you kick started on main stage. It's a basically just a big ass energy shot of main stage you got there. So um, that should get you pretty far. That should get you pretty far. It's been a long time since I've looked at main stage. And if everyone is loving this tutorial, and tutorials in the future, I will definitely delve into main stage a little bit more because I have definitely forgotten some of the things that I used to know about it. Um, but yeah, hit me up in the comments, rate, subscribe this hoe. Um, if you want to see more, I'll make more. That's how I do things. So uh, this is your boy, Mitchell. Peace out.